Hey everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls, and today's setup and review is of the Hilleberg Apto. Now, it's really funny that I've done so many Hilleberg setup things, I've never done one on the Apto. The Apto is like the classic Hilleberg tent. It's like the gold standard when it comes to lightweight, four season, bomb proof tents. It, uh, when I first started doing YouTube, I, I remember seeing videos of just the Acto just being out in some of the most incredible conditions. And a lot of the other tents now have been getting, getting more press, but the Acto has always been just one of the best, best tents. It's part of their red label. It's a four season tent. So the red label means you get the Curlon 1200 fabric. It's a triple impregnated silicone fabric which makes it very water resistant. Just sheds, just just like grease. And it also makes it super strong. It's, it's so hard to tear. You can get little samples from Hilleberg, if you ask, of all their fabrics. And it's just, just impossible to tear with your human hands. So that's when you, you think about, why should I get a tent like this? it will protect you in the worst conditions. And even if it gets damaged, it's going to keep protecting you. Uh, they're so fun. So I'll go around and I'll point out, you know, the, the little features of it, but just basically it's a four season tent. So the outer comes all the way to the ground. I'll point out the ventilation because ventilation is real important in these four season tents. The outer is the 1200 Curlon, which is the red label grade. The nine millimeter poles has a two millimeter Vectran. You can see all the specs, but to go from their black label, which is in the normal realm, their their toughest tent. They do a blue label, which is in the group tent thing, but black label is where you see the Kirons and the Namage and you know a lot of those the ones that are just super tough. But they of course are getting heavier. But that's what you see the the adventures do. But the red label is very very popular in the mountaineering crowd, and the Acto is just one of the best. So let's get to do a setup on this and show you how cool this is. Right there is the whole thing rolled out uh, completely and uh, I'm sure I got everything going the way I want it to go. There's the door on that side so I'll have the door at that. And one thing about this tent is it's not a freestanding tent. So you do need to have stakes and they do provide these V stakes from the DAC company. So going with my, my theme of always when I do practice, kind of trying to make believe in my own head that I've got a windy situation. So I wanted to try and set things up like if I'm in a windy situation. So let's make believe the wind's coming from this direction. We want to stake out the bottom or the wind the windward edge. And you want to stick you want to stick your stakes in basically at a 45 degree angle, almost to the ground, so this little ring is going near the top of the stake. You want that stake to get as much much bite as you can into the soil and then you want it to act like a fulcrum. Now being the red label tent, trying to get that nice combination of strength and then four season ability. So to and then to make it as light as they can with those parameters. So what they do in the red label tents Instead of having the 10 millimeter poles, you go to the nine millimeter poles. And they also do things like use the curl on 1200 rather than the curl on 1800. They use lighter zippers. They use a, a less denier floor. Uh, the inner tent is it's slightly lighter. So if you compare, if you go on their website, you can see that they have the different levels of fabric but these are these really nice DAC tent poles and DAC is one of the 
finest tent poles around. You can see that it's got kind of an arch to it. And there's only one pole with this tent. And you also want to make sure when you're putting your tent poles together that that ferrule is all the way together. Because if it's not, you're going to get a weak spot. And this is where on in tent damage or tent failure, it's usually with the pole. So if this breaks, there you got the, the broken pole. And you also have sharp edges that can go in. Uh, punch holes in your tent too. So make sure those are all the way together. It's really neat if you get into tents, these Hilleberg tents as much as I do, is that they try and orient it so you can really just work right around. So if you are in a big wind, you're not going from one side of the tent to the other side of the tent in these dome style tents. So this is where the door is. So I know automatically here's the flap that goes over the zipper. The door is going to be down here. The wind's coming from here. So it all makes sense. And this is a full sleeve. So we're going to put the pole through the sleeve about halfway. And then you pull it all the way down. And on the other side, you want to keep pulling it down until the pole gets all the way seated into this heavier vinyl cup on this side. Now we'll just pull that down, pull the, push the pole through. When you get to this end down here, there's a little cup that you put the end of the pole in. Right, so you put the end of the pole in that cup right there, and then you tighten it up until it's flush with the bottom of the tent. So now here you can see in the cup, it's big enough to put two poles side by side. So if you think you're gonna be in just super nasty weather or heavy snow load, you can actually double pole all the Hilleberg tents. But here the sleeve is big enough to hold two poles. Here you can see a lot of this great reinforcement. Okay, so we got the pole in, we got one the wind edge in, so now we're going to pop her up. This end basically the same as the other end, just kind of lift up the tent slightly. And drop it down. We'll stake it out. Now, this is when I talk about that it's not a freestanding tent. Yes, it's staked down. Yes, it's standing up. But now we want to use the guy lines to complete the... Now we want to use the guy lines to complete the shape of the tent. Now here's another area where the where they try and lighten things up. Now the the cordage they use is this Vectran polyester line. It's a really great line. This is the two millimeter as opposed to the three millimeter on the black label. But it's not a, it's not like paracord that has like a core in it. It's all a tight weave. If it does get wet, it doesn't absorb a lot of water just because it's so tightly woven. It always has a nice grip. Then you have these real nice line locks to give your tent the adjustments that it needs. And those are all tested. And you can see all these, they're tested to be used in extreme weather conditions. Now it's just starting to look awesome. solid. Now, not necessary, but it's always good practice, these guy lines for the pole itself, and they can be directed anywhere you need them. And since Hilleberg does a, a loop around that, just do a quick little clove hitch, and that'll keep it from the line from moving back and forth and wearing itself out. And we want to tighten these up just enough to give it some nice support, but we don't want it to form the arc of the pole. Fix this little rain fly. It's got a wire in it. Looking nice. Let me get the other side in. 
a nice little walk around. You can see the four season tents, the outer tent, will come all the way down to the ground. And then you can actually pack that with snow. The whole purpose of a four season tent is to protect you from the elements and the harsh elements. But then you get into the issue of condensation, condensation buildup. So if we look at the back of the tent, they have this nice little flap that you can open up. Thereby, you're increasing your ventilation throughout the tent. You don't have to open it all the way either. You can just open it up part way. You have this nice rain flap over there, so you can you can have fun adjusting that. And you'll find, you know, different conditions warrant different adjustments. But they have that on each end. You have the outer, which is the outer tent, which is your rain tent, which is keeps the rain and 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 uh, all the the weather off of you and this is what's triple silicone impregnated is this outer piece and it just sheds the water just sheds the water and you have this nice rubber gasket around where the zipper is now we will open up the door and roll it back it's real important to try it not let the door collapse on the ground and step on it. You can roll it either way. Um, roll it under if it starts to rain, then you won't get the gutter effect. But it's not raining today. So now here, you can see the inner tent. So on the season tents, these are all fabric on the inside. On the yellow label tents, you'll have a lot more mesh, like a mesh door. But it has the heavier duty bathtub floor and this mesh here. And then you go get my other camera. But you can unzip this pop top part and you have mesh up here to increase your ventilation. Let's go ahead and open this up. There we have it with me inside. The clinchers, can you sit up in it? I can barely sit up. It's, my head is touching the top, but I am straight backed, so it's not super high, but it's kind of what we get. And the vestibule, which is probably one of the best features of this tent, is how this pole holds the vestibule open. So this is actually, you know, real big. I can fit my 80 liter pack in here, but if I had to, I could do cooking in here. So, uh, what's really nice is having this, it's really nice is having this pole holding the vestibule out. What I'm going to do now is go grab my GoPro and we'll do some interior shots. And I'm going to go grab a, a sleeping mat so you can see how big it is. Okay, so here we go. So, here is the interior with the X bed down mat 7 in here so you can see how long it is. Let me get inside here now. Alright, so there we have my feet. Got plenty of room down there. And then up here you get this huge amount of room to the side and you've got some places up here to hang some things and up here I don't even know how many how much more room I have above my head but it's a lot and over here you've got a little pocket okay so right here we've got this velcro top window so if we need more ventilation we can undo that 
or we can just go a little bit or then back all the way up so then what you can do is open that ventilation up I'll show you the next level of ventilation but if we need more ventilation we've got the ability to unzip up here at the top and get more ventilation going in and out all right so there you have it that's the, the Hillebrand Acto forgot to point out that in the pole bag you have a spare pole and a sleeve already in there um, the pole bag the the stakes, the stake bag, this bag, the whole tent, all in with the lines and everything is three pounds, 12 ounces. So that's why I say in the lightweight four season tent, this is just the gold standard. Okay, well that should be uh, fun. I'm gonna take it out in a couple weeks and go conquer a really cool geological site with it. And uh, I'll get that video up as soon as I can. But thanks a lot and I'll see you out on the trail.